Let's dive into captivating world of numismatic treasures, starting with proof coin worth thousands of dollars. The eye appeal of this collector's item is simply outstanding. Here we present 1958 proof Lincoln Sand, graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Stex Bauer's auction, the final proof Lincoln Sand of the Wheat Ears reverse design type is a popular issue among numismatists. With a generous mintage of 875,652 pieces for its era, examples are readily obtainable in most grades. However, as David W. Lang noted in 1996, deep cameos remain very rare. These awe-inspiring ultra gem approach numismatic perfection, boasting vivid reddish-orange surfaces that are as bright, fresh, and smooth as the coin emerged from the dies. Those dies imparted not only razor-sharp striking detail, but also strong cameo contrast between the reflective fields and satiny motifs. Expertly produced and meticulously preserved, this coin is sure to impress even the most discerning numismatist. It fetched an impressive $50,400 at auction. Here is 1922 No D. Lincoln Cent, graded in Mint State 64 Red and Brown by PCGS. There are two major varieties among 1922 No D. Cents, one with a strong reverse and one with weak reverse. The former are the true rarities, struck using a clashed and then heavily ground overse die with mint mark inadvertently removed and a fresh reverse die with bold detail. Weak reverse representatives are much more available. Both sides of these remarkably preserved near gem exhibit warm copper-orange tones amid mottled overlay of glossy brown patina. Steel blue accents are also seen. There are no outwardly distracting carbon spots on obverse, and the surfaces are free of all but one or two abrasions on Lincoln's portrait. It was sold for $42,000. It's hard to imagine how a mintage of 46 million cents could leave us with so few gems, but this is certainly the case for 1920s. The vast majority of mint state survivors are poorly struck from overused dyes and reveal little or no red color. Those that are certified as MS Red typically have subdued shade of red rather than flashy color associated with P mint Lincolns. This specimen was graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Surfaces range from copper gold to orange and reddish violet, never sliding into the truly cool hues that lead similarly colorful coins to be called red and brown or brown. Luster is luminous with degree of swirl on the reverse, and while the detail on Lincoln's portrait is characteristically soft, it was sold for $44,062.50 at Heritage Auctions. Highly coveted error variety presented 1917 Lincoln Sand was double diverse. The 1917 FS101 is one of the most pronounced double diverse varieties in the entire Lincoln Sand series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God would trust in the motto. Writing in 2009 edition of Cherry Picker's Guide to the Rare Die Varieties of United States Coins, Bill Fibas and J.T. Stanton describe the 1917 FS101 DDO as arguably the most sought after of the early Lincoln Sand varieties. This specimen was graded M66 red by PCGS and later was proven by CAC. Vivid mint orange color is bright and freshy as the day the coin was produced. The fully struck devices are enhanced by frosty mint luster that extends throughout the fields. Beautiful to look and technically exceptional, it was sold for $21,600 at Stax Bowers Auction. The 1959 D. Lincoln Sand is one of the best struck coins for the Memorial Lincoln Sand series from 1959 to 1973. As within those years, coins are very difficult to come by in grade of MS67 or higher. After 1973, they became a bit more common in MS67 condition. Grades up to MS66 are usually common, and even nice examples in MS66 are easily obtainable. In MS67, not as many examples available, with about 50 coins surviving in this condition. 
This specimen was graded in mint state 68 red by PCGS. Wisps of powder blue and lilac color complement beautifully preserved copper orange surfaces of ash in satiny luster. It was sold for $38,400. Moving on with this 1913 Lincoln scent, these issues common in most circulated grades and mint state pieces of average quality are plentiful. It is also more available in full red gem conditions and Philadelphia scents of the previous era. An odd feature of this date is that Sri is inconsistent with the style established by the Brenner in 1909. This symmetrical numeral should have a long tail similar to that of 9. The U.S. men proved to be very irregular in observing established date styles, sometimes getting it right, but more often not. This specimen was graded in mint state 67 plus red by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. This plus graded superb gem was once a highlight of the fabulous Ducker collection. This former Ducker coin is fully struck over both sides with no weakness in the usually seen areas. The surfaces are medium orange gold, mellowing only in slightly to a thin arc of violet near to the left obversary. A few tiny microflecks appear only with the aid of loop. It was sold for $60,000. 1955 Lincoln Scent was double diverse, graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. This is a breathtakingly beautiful, conditionally rare example of perhaps the most popular of all Lincoln Scent varieties. Best in a blend of medium orange and pale rose color, the surfaces are fully lustrous with a soft satin finish. The dyes imparted sharp to full definition throughout the design, the all important of verse doubling readily evident to the naked eye. Generally pristine, a few extremely faint and easily overlooked carbon flakes are all that seem to preclude an even higher grade. The 1955 Lincoln Sand with double dive words is highly coveted error coining, featuring significant doubling on the date. Liberty and in God would trust, graded MS65 plus by PCGS, it signifies exceptional condition with minimal imperfections. The CAC endorsement adds further credibility, indicating that the coin is of superior quality even within its grade. This combination of dramatic error, high grade, and trusted certification makes it a standout piece for collectors and valuable addition to any numismatic collection. This specimen was sold for staggering $114,000 at Stexbauer's auction. That's all folks, your likes and comments are highly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. We have daily updating numismatic content for you. God's willing, see you in the next episode.